This week at Interior. 100 years ago this week, the 19th Amendment was ratified, giving women the right to vote nationwide. First Lady Melania Trump hosted the launch of the Building the Movement exhibit, America's You Celebrate 100 Years of Women's Suffrage, on Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House. To mark the centennial, buildings and landmarks across the country, including the Department of the Interior Building, the Bunker Hill Monument in Boston National Historical Park, the White House in President's Park, and the Old Point Loma Lighthouse in Cabrillo National Monument were all illuminated in purple and gold, the colors of the women's suffrage movement. Deputy Secretary Kate McGregor was on the road visiting interior managed sites and facilities in West Virginia and Maryland. She joined Fish and Wildlife Service Director Aurelia Skipwith for a behind-the-scenes tour of the new multi-use facility at Canaan Valley National Wildlife Refuge in Davis, West Virginia. The facility will serve as a visitor center for the refuge, as well as offices for the West Virginia Field Office and the Office of Law Enforcement. She then joined Office of Surface Mining, Reclamation and Enforcement Principal Deputy Director Lanny Erdos for a tour of Deckers Creek and abandoned Mountain State mine sites. OSMRE has led an unprecedented effort to address mine reclamation by developing active treatment systems and providing millions in abandoned mine land funds. These efforts are important to clean up legacy mine sites and support local economy. On the final leg of her travels, the Deputy Secretary stopped by the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal and National Historical Park Visitor Center in Cumberland, Maryland. Once used to move Appalachian Coal East, the CNO Canal now hosts millions of visitors for outdoor recreation. Assistant Secretary Indian Affairs Tara Sweeney was in Anchorage, Alaska this week to open the Operation Lady Justice Task Force's newest office. It's the sixth office opened in two months by the Trump administration to investigate cold cases involving missing and murdered American Indians and Alaska Natives. Assistant Secretary for Water and Science Dr. Timothy Petty and USGS Director Dr. Jim Riley on hand this week for the groundbreaking ceremony of the new Snake River Field Station at the USGS Idaho Water Science Center. The center will provide long-term cost savings and enhance scientific collaboration to address Idaho natural resource issues. Happy 104th birthday to the National Park Service, officially established on August 16, 1916. For over a century, the service has been telling the American story through monuments, memorials, battlefields, and our iconic national parks. Find your park at nps.gov, where you'll also find updated information, current conditions, and tips on how to recreate responsibly. The Bureau of Reclamation this week joined its partners at the Army Corps of Engineers and the Department of Energy to celebrate National Hydropower Day. The celebration recognizes hydropower's contribution to America's clean energy infrastructure, electrical grid resiliency, and environmental protection. And our social media video of the week, the salmon making their way upriver to spawn at Katmai National Park and Preserve in Alaska, and the bears who wait for a free lunch. It's not just bears who feast on the tens of thousands of fish every year. The fish have to get past hungry wolves, birds, and other predators, but the survivors end up further inland to make their offspring, which migrate back to the ocean, then eventually make their way back upriver in a never-ending cycle. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That's This Week at Interior.